Okay, guys, looks like wasn't recording this entire time. <laughs> this is a re-recording. A recording attempt. So, yeah, let's get to it then. I actually do got working, apparently. You know, I didn't click stop last time, to my knowledge. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's over. I'll we'll probably be dead by tomorrow. I went to sleep in there right here at Catavina. And we lost San Diego. We're, we're going to lose this soon. Uh, annoyed that they got access to the best Dreadnought probably in the match because I had the research. I personally think if you don't have the equivalent research, you should not be able to finish the plans from your enemy. It works like that in Conflict. Believe it or not, and it works like that in New World Empire Zine, it's gonna die in like two months because they're cutting the servers off. So I'm surprised that's even a thing in this game. But it was a good fought battle. And maybe if uh this cap here did help us. He did have some beefy stacks. I think he had two. Yeah, he has this one. This this would have been a big help to us honestly so what's that mean by multiple armies selected when I do that how's there multiple armies here what's the sum of this too but yeah and you see he could have helped us maybe and maybe we could have held off a little bit or even pushed him back I don't know you can never say that but I will say it's pretty fun. It just sucks so we had to go against a Golder. You know. And all that. The thing is, if he wasn't... I mean, either he's a Golder or he's a, a Sweat. But I'm going at the Golder part from all the stuff I've seen. Which is... Four to five Titans since, like, what? Two to three weeks ago? He's had a shit ton of Titans, David Crockett's, Bombers... I mean, look at this. Three Titans right here. And remember, we killed one off already. Then again, it is two different Brazils. That's something to keep in mind, but even then, man. Definitely golding, for sure. Because I don't differentiate between Brazils because their flags are so fucking similar. But yeah. But the fact is, early on, I knew I knew we were going to lose. Because right down here, we're having about destroyers. Ah, his friend came in, that's how he took it. So I was having about my dreadnoughts versus his. They were at 60 health and he used gold to kick it up to 130. I knew right then and there that we were going to lose. And my last ditch effort was to throw in the chin here, try to mess it up. He countered it. He stopped it because that's some infantry there. So yeah. If he wasn't using gold, I would congratulate him. One of the better players I've seen in this type of game. But sadly, because I, if you use gold, I don't think of any of your plays as skillful, really. Because I don't know if you just have a lot of units that can attack every path. That actually kind of sounds ignorant, honestly. Like, if you do a good counter-offensive against me, even with using gold, that is skillful. Even good defense, but the fact that they have so many units, and the fact that they basically aren't losing resources, it seems... Because they're still making more, bringing more in. At least you believe they're golding. And I, I won't ever know unless we get their point of view. You know? And that doesn't mean golding is a bad thing. It is. It sucks to face it. It is possible to beat it. But sadly, for one, I'm inexperienced. And two, I just don't care. <laughs> Like, when I see someone golding, and they're invading us when using gold instead of us invading them, I don't think we're going to win. So yeah, this is a good fought battle. I guess it's still tomorrow. So this could be the second to last video of this match. Because I will be switching and doing more Iron Order stuff. I might be dial it back on Conflict. Because, honestly... I think I enjoy this game somewhat more than Conflict. Because it has a variety. Because let's go over here. 
Because, yeah, Conflict does have all these, and Commands are just special forces, but Commands are beefy in this, and I love that. For combat, the mechs, love them. Titan's unique, the David Crockett, the Landship, all that's unique. They even got a ton of these guys who siege mechs, which... Yeah, shooting stance, please. Uh, is this the thing that causes the fire stuff? Or is the fire stuff just reminiscent of low morale? I, think in, I believe they have land ships, do they not? Because I imagine fire storm look like that thing, but yeah. I don't know. But yeah, this game has like so many unique units too. Especially at the bottom. So it's like how Harpy's its own class. Oh yeah, I forgot it can be turned into infantry. I completely forgot about that. I'm gonna keep it real. I completely... I haven't even used the Harpy and I built one and killed it off by being stupid. Now the Dython, which is just an advanced submarine. I think Dython's actually the scariest to win, isn't it? Yeah, 21 versus ships compared to the Dreadnought's Puny. 7. So Leviathan's a ship counter. And we also have the aircraft carrier, which... You can get a walk on land, can it not? No. I was thinking of the Titan. Yeah, pretty fun game, honestly. It just sucks to have to face a gold or the first match. You know? So yeah. I found it against Titans. The research team's legit, it's just the amount of Titans they caught on it is not <laughs> legit without gold. But that's me for this one, y'all. I'll catch you next later. Have a good one, though. And, uh, yeah, this will be the second to last video, because I can guarantee you I'll be dead by tomorrow. So, have a good one. I'm also apparently, uh, Lance Corporal. So, I'm going. Peace.